The following contest is a three-on-one handicap match. Introducing first, from Venice Beach, California, the Idol. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. factions in the history of sports entertainment if you ask me this group could very well join that Mount Rushmore Thinking you've got a chance to beat not one, but multiple WWE superstars speaks to a little bit of ego, doesn't it? A little bit? No, it speaks of a lot of ego, as big as this arena. But if you can somehow pull off an upset, what a notch in your belt. Hey, Michael, you show me a WWE superstar with no ego, I'll give you a dollar. That's a good point. Attack in the foot! Oh, that hurts. The ring. That ain't right. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Double stomp to the legs. Looks like they're looking for a clover leaf. Oh, into a backbreaker. Painful. She was clearly waiting for that. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Brought down with the bulldog. I know the WWE Universe thinks that handicap matches are unfair and predictable, but I think it's important to note that it's absolutely possible to have a numbers advantage and still end up on the losing end. In fact, we've seen it happen often. That's why the team with the numbers can't get too confident in a match like this. It could create an instant opening that negates any and all natural advantage. Capped off with a knee to the spine. And that failed to hit the mark. What are we going to see here? Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Look at her grabbing the momentum here. You can tell she is fully focused now. The wind up and the pitch. Cut. She's taking some big hits here. Comes in off the tag. Ouch. Stopping their opponent. Followed by a forearm 
smash. What impact! You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Catches the leg. Put down. Textbook head scissor takeover. Very nicely done. Nice arm drag takeover. She's raining down those elbows. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, that can shatter a jaw. Boom. As the arm bars stretch in. Just stretching out the arm. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Oh, what a boot. <laughs> Wind him up. Oh, and a forearm. Wow, springboard attack. Tossed into the corner. Kick. And a kick. Boom. Oh, that's going to sting your back. And she can't put an end to any of the offense coming at her. Yeah, her defensive instincts are all that's keeping her alive. Look at this. Somersault plancha to the floor. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And this is just next level brutality. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Carefully measured knee drop. Come on, count along if you want. The 10 beats of the Byron. Shot after shot after shot. Beats of the Byron. And now she's, here we go. Somersault plunge out of the floor. It's like a heat-seeking miss. And you know what's next, guys? That might just do it. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. And another just non-stop aggression. 